Dr. Fizzbop. Have you noticed that love is in the air? And for today's experiment, we're going to use something I love, which is... This! It will also involve the worldwide symbol for love, a heart. This fizzy fun activity includes a super simple chemical reaction and a colorful creation. In fact, when you're done, you'll have the perfect valentine for a parent, grandparent, teacher, or friend. Who will you give yours to? Here is a fizz fact. Did you know that this holiday was named for St. Valentine? Legend has it he may, may have sent the first Valentine to writing a letter to the girl he loved and signing it to a Valentine. That's marvelous. Well, with that, let's get fizzing. Today at Fizzbop Labs, I am assisted by Waverly and Elsie. Let's get started. First, the Fizzlebop supply list. We need paper or poster board, school glue, baking soda, vinegar, jars for mixing, food coloring, a baking sheet, and eyedroppers. We'll wait right here while you gather your supplies for your fizzing hearts. Okay, now that we've gathered our supplies, let's get to the Fizzing Hearts experiment. On the piece of paper or a poster board, we're going to use glue to make several heart-shaped outlines of varying sizes. But first, here's a fizz tip for you. Make the hearts at least two inches by centimeters apart. Excellent, let's make our hearts. Elsie put fizz in her heart, and where they put I love fizz in her heart. You know what? I love fizz too. So next, we'll sprinkle baking soda over all of the glue hearts. Here's a fizz tip for you. Be sure to completely cover the glue in the baking soda. And remember, the more baking soda, the better our reaction. Let's do that now. And here's a fizz tip for you. We're going to shake off the excess baking soda and put it back into our container so we can use it again. Fizz-tastic! Now, we need to let the baking soda covered hearts dry for two hours. So we're gonna practice one of our favorite things and that's patience. Okay, are your hearts dry? Fizz-tastic! Now it's time to pour the vinegar into the jar and add seven drops of food coloring to the vinegar. We've chosen to have pink, purple, and red. All right, now let's set the paper with the hearts on our baking sheet. Okay, fizz-tastic. Next, we're going to use our eyedroppers to add several drops of vinegar to the center of each heart. But first, here's a fizz tip. The larger the heart, the more vinegar you may need to add. Fizz-tastic! Okay, oh, uh, I'm ready for the fizz. Are you ready for the fizz? Mm -hmm. It's time for the fizz. It's soon time. No, it is time. We're going to do the chemical reaction and we're going to make some fizzy, fizztastic, fizzing hearts on the count of three. One, two, three. Let's fizz. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. 
Do you see that fizz? That is wondrous, wondrous, wondrous fizz. Keep going. Keep fizzing. Get some red, yes. That is fizzastic. Look at these fizzy hearts. Look at all the fizz. Fizz, fizz, fizz. So much fizz. Do you see all the wondrous fizz? So much fizz. Well, you've done it. You've made a fantastic fizzing heart. And now that you have a fizzing heart to give to someone, who will it be? I hope when you're done, you'll snap a picture and post it online of your fizzing heart and share the results with us. Plus, tell us who you gave it to. You can tag us at Fizzlebop Labs and use hashtag Fizzlebop. Dr. Fizzlebop, what's happening? Well, we've made a fizzing chemical reaction by adding vinegar to baking soda. Baking soda is a base and vinegar is an acid. When these two combine, they produce a gas called carbon dioxide. And do you know what carbon dioxide is great for? Fizz. Lots and lots of fizz, as you can see. So when the two react, the fizzing begins. You can hear it, you can see it, and you can even smell it. Fizztastic! It's time to collect our data. You can record it in Faith and Science with Dr. Fizzlebop on page 270 or in your Fizzlebop Labs notebook. First, describe the reaction between the vinegar and baking soda. What did you see? Smell here. Do you think that different shapes, not hearts, would react differently? And what might the reaction be like if you didn't let the glue dry for two hours? Hmm. That's it! Enjoy your fizzing hearts and I hope you'll share it with us by tagging at Fizzabop Labs and using hashtag Fizzabop. Thanks for joining us here at Fizzabop Labs. We'll be sure to share ours as well. I hope you had as fantastic time as we have. Join us here each week for a new experiment and don't forget to hit subscribe.